Hi, I'm David Jones, independent agronomist with Crop Nuts, and I have some classic fall army worm here for you. That guy, all the hallmarks, all the symptoms. I've got the leaf damage over here. Looks a bit like corn earworm to, in, in effect, or, um, or even stalk borer, but uh, you've got to dissect the plant, make sure you know what you've got. And the next step, fortunately we haven't got a lot in this, uh, in this crop. We've been inspecting it thoroughly, three days at the most. We've been looking across the whole field. Really important that you understand the patchy nature of the pest and how it can just occur in hot spots. And uh, if you're not looking hard enough, you won't spot it. So that's the first really important point. The second is when you do get spraying, use the right chemical, uh, talk to your agronomist or distributor uh, and get an idea of exactly what you should be using. And when you're spraying, timing and application is everything. These guys are way inside the crop here. And if I move out to the chamber, how on earth do you get the fungus, the insecticide, in here? It's not easy. So there's a few tips. Firstly, go for a coarse spray quality. That's obvious. Larger droplets, more kinetic energy, more chance of hitting the leaf and rolling down. Second is, do not use an adjuvant that is a non-ionic wetter or a surfactant or a penetrant or sticker. You don't want to get those droplets landing on the leaf because the army worm aren't feeding up here. You might feel good about getting good control with those guys on the leaf. Spray morning or night when most of them are as high up the plant as they can possibly find them. That way you'll get better coverage. If you do need to get down in here, which you will do at some point, go for a good coarse droplet size as I say, and really important not to use an adjuvant that's going to stick the, the insecticide on here. If the worst comes to the worst, a lot of guys are having to use uh, knapsack sprayers and get people out in the field and just spray individual walls going along the rows and getting it in every plant. It's not easy, but these are the steps to take. I mean, this is a serious pest and you really shouldn't, you know, underestimate this. So good scouting, right product, making sure you know what you're looking for to identify it early and then applying it in the right manner. Application is always key. And follow me for more updates and we'll hopefully uh, give you more ideas and information about how to keep control of this pest.